And now, from JMN Studio, this is Nightly News with Michael. Good evening. Pine trees are making their way into homes this holiday season, and residents are calling them Christmas trees. The trees, which range from a few cents to as much as $12 each, are displayed in family rooms decorated with lights, candy, popcorn, and glass. Definitely not a disaster waiting to happen. To understand more about this new holiday fad, we go to field correspondent Mike. Thanks, Michael. I'm here with an area man who just got back from a drive to pick up his Christmas tree. How far did you have to go to get this? Uh, just down the road, actually. Interesting. Do you think this is a potentially ridiculous idea? What do you plan to do with the tree, and what do you feel about the fad? Uh, well, what we're going to do with the tree is uh, we have some lights in the basement that have just been sitting down there, so we're going to put those up on the tree. And uh, my kids have been making crafts at school, and we're going to put those on the branches. And also, uh, we're going to put the presents under the tree this year instead of what we normally do, which is put them in front of the fireplace. That is a safer tactic. The only thing dumber might be hanging something flammable above the flames. You mean like socks or stockings? Yes. Do you feel that this brings your family closer together by bringing the tree into the home? Yeah, I mean, I'm not necessarily one for nature, but um, I, I really don't want to argue about it anymore. Fantastic. Well, there you have it, folks. Togetherness and pine trees for the holidays. Back to you, Michael. Damn, I hate that guy. Well, isn't that something? One thing is for sure, while some may participate in this new tradition, others will remain skeptical about letting the outside inside. When we return, President Jackson will deliver his address via television. Bloopers. You're good at that. You really are. That's the first blooper. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Michael. I'm here with an area man who just got back from driving to pick up his Christmas tree this year. Wow, this is not a sapling. What do you plan to do with this tree? Uh, first of all, I'm going to go pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Long pause. <laughs> Forget the lines. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, my mustache is all wet from the condensation. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's the. You want to do one more? Sure. Without the damn, I look good. No, I like that. Oh, okay. Really? Hmm. Damn, I look good. Why didn't anyone tell me my ass was so big? <laughs> <laughs> Take her. I hate that guy. Well, isn't that so? <laughs> <laughs> that so <laughs> Just roll again right where you are. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you made you laugh. I'm here with area man Jesse, who just got back from his drive up the road. That was your line and my line together. Sorry. Welcome to Good Morning America. That's not the name of the show. Do you think this is a ridiculous idea? What do you feel about the holiday fad, and what do you plan to do with the tree? Uh, well, uh, we're gonna string some lights up that we had in the basement, and, uh, my kids made some crafts at school, so we're gonna put those up. And, uh, also we're gonna take the, uh, presents and put them under the tree this year, instead of... No, don't laugh! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> what do you feel about this holiday fad? 
thought that was going to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Could you get that in slow motion? Just your face is like... What do you feel about this whole effect? <laughs> do I have something in my teeth? Mmm. What is this? 125 proof? Man, the car ride home will be great. That's too dark for a blooper. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to kill some pedestrians on my way home. Am I right? <laughs> nope. Looking for a high five from anybody. Anyone at all. Um, what are the lines? What are the lines? <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Madison modified the measles mandate. <clears throat> Thanks, Michael. You can put your hands down. It's all right. Just down near the waist. Yep, there you go. I'm here with they're, area they're cold now, though. We'll just put them in your pocket. That's what I do. You know, I have one hand on the mic that's freezing, and you know, there you go. You ready? Are, the, are these are these pockets okay? Do you, man? It's it's fine. Just keep them down. I'm here with area man Jesse, who just got back from driving to pick up his Christmas tree. How far did you have to go to get this? Uh, just down the road. Do you have anything to add? Can I, can I put my hand back? You can, you can put your hand back. Damn it. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> I'm here with area man Jesse, who just got back from a drive to pick up his Christmas tree. He's going to tell us how Rudolph's nose is red. We forgot to do the hand bit. <laughs> Rudolph doesn't have a hand bit. <laughs> what? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> stream of consciousness, stream of consciousness. <laughs> Do you think it's a little ridiculous, and what do you plan to do with the tree? Uh, well, um, we have some lights in the basement, so we're going to put those up. And uh, my kids made some crafts at school. Uh, we're going to put those in the branches. And also the presents we were thinking of throwing right into the <laughs> fireplace. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't have laughed. How do you feel about this Christmas tree? That's the guy who stole my wall! <laughs> Do you know where he is? We haven't seen him? Where's... What are you doing? Get over here! Sorry, I'm just having some fun. Holidays aren't about fun. Thanks, Michael. I'm here with... Who are you? Jesse. Jesse. And he just got back from a drive to pick up his... Pine tree? Pine tree. I think they're still cutting him down. Just off so the road. So what's this? No, I mean, just, just hear it. <laughs> thanks, thanks, guy. I'm not even running this out to do anything. I'm just being loud for no reason. You just help me with the eyelash, you know how they get in the way of the letter sometimes. Yeah, I think you got it. Yep, that's great. Area man disappears after tucking his kids in bed. I'm here with area holiday man and Christmas specialist Jesse, who can recite all of his favorite reindeer alphabetically. But today we're here to talk about his Christmas tree. He just got back from driving. Where? Where'd you pick it up? Oh, uh, just down the road. Just down the road. He's going to tell us a little bit about how he feels about this new fad and what he plans to do with the tree. Uh, well, I have some lights in the basement we're gonna put on it. Do not know why. Uh, my kids have crafts that they've made at school that they begged to hang on the branches. Hmm. 
Uh, and my wife thought it would be a good idea to put the presents under the tree instead of what we normally do, which is just put them in front of the fireplace. Completely mitigating a small disaster. I understand. Um, do you believe that this brings the family together for the holidays? Well, uh, you know, I'm not one for nature, but uh, I, I, just, I don't really want to fight about it anymore. Lovely. Well, there you have it, people. Togetherness and pine trees for Christmas. Back want, to you. Do you want to hear my favorite reindeer in alphabetical order? Sure. Alfred, Bobby, Charlie, Dan. I named them. This isn't a mic. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Back to you, Michael. Can, can I can I go now? Yeah, you can go. Okay. Happy Christmas. Lift up my tree.